Hi everybody, uh, I'm at the school today and I don't want to uh, record more footage and for something that I'm just going to be voicing over, so I'm just going to do a vlog for this because I don't think there's too much I need to demonstrate or get into uh, that I haven't already. So gaps in my sources, there are some. And there are a few. So James Paul G. One like major gap in his, in that source specifically, is that he lists a lot of design principles of how uh, the games get learned by the people playing them, and then goes, "Oh, imagine if this design principle was applied in a classroom setting." You know, th there's. There's no definite proof of going, whoa, this would improve class performance. More like it's something that he would rationalize and uh, expects the reader to go, yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, I agree, but that is a, that is a major gap. That is a, that is a big one. You know, like, there's, just, there's no definite proof that these design principles work. And that's where uh, Misfit et al.'s uh, study comes in. Because his study showed a tremendous increase uh, compared to the group that played the educational game Clue Finders by the end of the experiment compared to the control group. So uh, with that, we could assume, I, th I think it's reasonable to assume that the educational game, Clue Finders, is using the learning principles that are discussed in G's paper, except instead of teaching the player like game mechanics, it's teaching them English. But there's one problem that isn't what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on educational games. I'm, I'm, I want to know if the same games that I play on my computer and on my consoles are feasible to apply in a classroom setting. And uh, I feel like Austinson's uh, video on it, uh, it, what the fuck what am I saying? I feel like Austinson's paper on how he integrated video games to discuss storytelling uh, definitely uh, provided a good framework, I'd say, for how to do that. But there's one problem, and a lot of the time the kids aren't playing the games themselves. Like, they're, they definitely are like at s early on when they're playing like adventure games on in the computer lab but every other time that video games are being played it's played by the teacher but the kids the students are like providing their own inputs and saying what they think is the solution to solve like a puzzle like in mist and, and stuff like that. So what I wanna, so with that, with that said, I want my research question to be, how can we integrate video games like System Shock 2 or Deus Ex or uh, some of the most popular role-playing games of all time, like Final Fantasy VII, stuff like that, like into a classroom setting. Because video games do require like a level of literacy in order to play them. They do require for you to piece together a terminology 
that is being spoken in the world even if it doesn't exist in real life, much like reading a novel. So I do think that this is something that is worth covering and that's going to be my research question. How can modern video games be integrated in the classroom? Okay, cool. Goodbye.